Palorax, Roly Coley, Unguru, Whale Lord, Nido King, Crown Tundra. Let's play. What's the chance and chow? Sunstone Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Crown Tundra Let's Play. In the last episode. We faced Regigigas in a Max Raid battle, and we caught it. Then, we went over here to Wyden Stadium to start the announcement of the Galean Star Tournament. We're teaming with Marnie, and we're going to start the Galean Star Tournament in today's episode. In that case, please head to the locker room. Allow me to introduce... The participants. So, on the uh, side A, uh, well, uh, sorry, in three, in uh, quarterfinal A, we have Joe and Marnie versus Milo and Nessa. In quarterfinal B, we have Jordy and B uh, versus Hop and uh, Opal. On quarterfinal uh, C, uh, uh, in quarterfinal C we have Bead and Clara teaming up, and they are facing uh, Peon, uh, Peony, and Kafu. Uh, Kafu, and then we have Pierce and Rehim teaming up in quarterfinal D. And they are taking on two mystery opponents. Spoilers, it's Shortbert and Shieldworth. Uh, Shieldbert. Shield... You know, the Sword and Shield guys from the after game. You know, those guys. That's what they... That's, those are the two mystery opponents. That's who vacant, uh, vacant is in this game. It is not vacant. Sadly, it is not the multi-time WWE heavy... Uh, WWE champion or wrestling champion of all time vacant... It is it is Sawbolt and Shieldbert. I know we're on the same side, but uh, we're uh, still rivals too. I'm not going to let you outshine me in front of everyone. Okay, fine. That's the way you want to play it, Marnie. By the way, you still can't enter this little back room here with the vending machine. I'm sorry, but only earth, uh, authorized people are allowed to enter this point. You still can't enter this little room. I don't know what the hell uh, is in there. If someone wants to try and do like a walk through walls glitch uh, using a modded switch and trying to find out what the hell's in that uh, uh, what the hell's in that room and send me a little video of it on Twitter at Lantern and Joe please do so uh, I'll upload the video to YouTube and then send it uh, and then send me the link to it uh, you can be privatized if you want if you're not a YouTuber but like if you have a mod if you have the ability to mod your switch so you can walk through walls just to get in that little back room there let me know because I want to see what the hell's behind there uh, and it's so weird that that's like the only place in the entirety of the Gala region we can't get into yet. And it's it's kind of annoying. I don't. And it is, I think at this moment in time, I think we'll never get in there. That's the thing. I think we're never going to be able to get in there. It's always going to be blocked off from us, which is kind of annoying. This is an important first step, folks. A fir the first battle and Team Joe and Marnie are facing against Team Milo and Nessa. Just our... Wait, no. Milo... Whose voice was, uh, I think I gave him, I tried to give him the Ralph Rickham voice, if I remember correctly. I'm in danger. Just, just our luck to be uh, matched up against uh, the uh, champions team in uh, round one, eh? Come on, Milo. Don't tell me that you're uh, thinking of throwing in the towel already. 
together we can sweep aside any opponent, even if it's the champion. You can say that again. In that case, I get uh, better get ready. Uh, uh, my put my back into it and show off a little. You're not the only one who can show off. I'll show you the true strength of Spike Mouth Jim. We're going to do this together. Yes, we are, Marnie. You were challenged by Jim Leader Milo and Jim Leader Nessa. So we have a shift tree and a gastropod from Nessa and uh, Milo. And I'm starting with Do. Why am I starting with Dover? And um, she's starting with a more Pico. The water's got me all energized. I'll extinguish any flame that comes our way. All right, let's do this. So, whoa, I am not, I am way over leveled for this fight. Okay. I did not know what level we're going to be going into this fight, so... Uh, what level my opponents were going to be in this fight. So I guess it's okay for me to be this over leveled. I'm going to sludge bomb the shift tree. First impression is a bug type move and that... Whoa. Buy more Pico. <laughs> and leaf play kills off Dover. Oh dear. I guess I'm going to go to Yorkshire here. And she's bringing out Scrafty and I'm going to bring out Yorkshire. Okay, Intimidate. And today it knocks down your attack too. Marnie can Dynamax now. Nessa can Dynamax now. Okay, can I now Thunder... I want to Thunder Fang the Gastropod. Yorkshire, Thunder Fang. Oh, that's beautiful. That does enough damage to, to get Emergency Exit to go off. And that brings in a Toxapex. And Leaf Blade doesn't do a lot of damage, but that's fine. Thunder Punch into the Toxapex does nice damage. I can now Dynamax now if I want to, but I don't need to. I should be okay with just Thunder Fanging uh, the Toxapex. And that should do some decent damage. Doesn't kill, but does decent damage. Leaf Blade onto the Scrafty is fine. And a Thunder Punch onto the Toxapex will kill the Toxapex. Nice. And we still get experience from this fight. Cool. So it's not like it's a competitive fight. We still get experience. So that's pretty cool. And Gastropod is coming back out. Marnie and Nessa can now Dynamax. Uh, I don't really need to Dynamax. So I'm going to Thunder Fang the Gastropod. First impression does nice damage, but I'm okay with that. Oh, I missed my Thunder Fang. I missed my Thunder Fang. That's annoying. Uh, Scrafty does the T-Punch on the Gastropod set. And it's, uh, that is going to take down the Gastropod to the red. That's fine. Uh, let's do this again then. Thunderfang. 
And that'll take down the gastropod. Nice. Okay, the flay does damage. That's fine. That's a crit. I don't like that. Thunder Punch does nothing to the shift tree, but do it actually, no, it did actually do some nice damage because it was a crit. My last drop will submerge you. This is her Dreadnought. And she can actually D-Max now, so that's actually kind of scary. And she is going to D-Max. Uh, G Max side. She is going to G Max. That's actually kind of scary. That is actually kind of scary. Yorkshire. Thunder Fang does nice damage. I am okay with that amount of damage. And the paralysis. I'm very much okay with that. Leaf Blade onto the Scrafty. Does damage. Drain Punch onto the Dreadnought from Scrafty. That does nice damage too. Max Darkness onto me, and that does really nice damage. It normally kills me. And that was my special defense. That's fine. I'm still the fastest thing on the board, so... I shouldn't have to worry too much about this now. Because another fun of Thunder Fang should kill off the Dreadnought on this HP. Even, I don't even need to Dynamax for that. There we go, Ness is out the fight. Leaf Blade is going to take Yorkshire down though this turn and that's kind of annoying. That's fine. Drain Punch onto the scrap, uh, onto the shift tree from the, from the Scrafty and that is going to take down the, sh the shift tree. Uh, let's go into lazy. A Cherum coming out on the uh, for Milo. And I want to do shell sidearm. Dazzling Gleam from the uh, from the, the Cherum does a lot of damage to the Scrafty. Ice Punch from the Scrafty does nice damage to the Cherum. And here's Lazy's Shell Sidearm, which is going to kill the Cherum. Beautiful. It's time to dig our heels in. Uh, it's time to dig our heels in for the friendship and claim victory. Here's her. F uh, here's their full apple. Okay. And I don't really need to Dynamax this turn. Another shell sidearm should do the damage. And probably kill the full apple. Acrobatics onto the Scrafty. That's going to hurt. Down goes the Scrafty. Shell side arm. Beautiful one shot. Taking down the full apple because full apple doesn't have that much defense. Appleton on the other hand does. We beat Milo, Milo and Nessa. That was fine teamwork. 
I'm ready uh, to take you both on as uh, farmhands. A pair, the pair of us got washed and clean away. You sure are a tough opponent, aren't you? Well, good luck on your next battle. Thank you, Milo. And here's all the results of the first round. In quarterfinal A, Joe and Marnie beat uh, Milo and Nessa. In quarterfinal B, Jordy and Bede uh, Bay beat Opal and Hop. Peony and Kafu, Kafu, uh, the fire type gym leader, uh, beat Clara and Bade, and Rehim and Pierce took off, uh, took on Sawbolt and Shieldworth and uh, won. By the way, Sawbolt and Shieldworth will always lose in the first round. That is how it works. They will always lose in the first round. And we are going into the next fight. Not bad, Joe. I can tell that uh, we're going to make a smashing combo after just one battle as teammates. Alright, it's time for the second round of this tournament, the semi-finals. We are taking on Jordy and Bede. Take your seats, folks. There are more battles to come. Who will seize a victory in this next round? Joe and Marnie or Jordy and Bede? Obey. What an ideal matchup for uh, letting both of us show our strength. Agreed. We couldn't have uh, have had better opponents. I will press onwards towards victory with every ounce of my strength in my body and soul. Between us, between us, we make a my a monolithic that that won't be easily crushed. Fighting types are a pretty rough matchup for me. I can just leave that up to you, Jam, right? Uh, yeah. I'll deal with that. Don't worry, Marnie. I'll deal with those. All my mates in Spike Marth are cheering us on. Okay, so we got Halucha and Shuckle. Interesting team. And here I am starting with Dover again. I really should not have Dover out front. But I don't think you get to just change that. But that's fine. I think... I mean, I think Dover can do some serious work here. Especially against the... Um, uh, against the Shuckle with uh, Liquidation. And Ice Punch will do some nice damage to Holucha. I'm going to try and get down the Holucha first. So Ice Punch. Got a high jump kick onto the Morpico. That's going to kill the Morpico. Bye-bye, Morpico. Ice Punch comes through and does decent damage to the Halusha. Rock Tomb from the Shuckle, that's going to do nothing to me. Except for lower my speed. Here comes the Scrafty again. I'm going to Ice Punch again onto the Halusha. It's a frying press. 
And again, that's going to kill the Scrafty off really badly. There goes the Halucha now. I feel sorry for Marnie because she's getting her ass whooped here. Stealth Rocks coming in from the Scrafty. No, I mean, from the Shuckle. And your final poke. Uh, there's a Furlink out on the pitch. And a Grimmsnarl coming in from Marnie. Uh, and of course that hurt. Uh, uh, we've got the... Um, the Stealth Rocks there. Close combat onto the fur onto the Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl is able to live. Grimmsnarl is able to live somehow. Grimmsnarl pay roughs uh, the fur links and takes it out. Nice work. And that's B. That's a B second Pokemon. Uh, B second Pokemon down. Liquidation does nice damage to the Shuckle. Rock Tomb is going to lower the speed of the Grimstar, which is kind of annoying, but that should be fine. Machamp is your final Pokemon. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for liquidation on the v Machamp this time then. And of course, you're going to D-Max. I'm a little scared of this Machamp, I will admit. I am a little scared of this Machamp. I might need to D-Max this. I might need to D-Max. If I'm demaxing, I'm gonna bring Robin in. Oh, you're demax. Okay, I guess, I guess Grimstar's demaxing. I wish I could heal you. I really do. I wish I could use items. Oh, Max Flare is gonna take you down. And the sunlight is harsh now, which means in other words I can't use water attacks. Good play. I mean I can use water attacks. I did a liquidation there and it did do damage, but not a lot. I guess I don't have to worry about uh, like moves hitting my teammates uh, now, but my teammates out. So, Earthquake. Max Flare's going to do nothing to me. I'm fine. That takes down the Shuckle, and the Machamp is also at half HP because of that. Georgie sends out the T-Tar. Sandstream is in play. EQ. Crunch from the T-Tar. That does nice damage. Don't like that, Max Darkness. That's going to do nice damage to me as well. Earthquake will take down the Machamp finally. And this is going to be a one-on-one -on -one fight between me and uh, Geordie.
Earthquake? I mean, if I can live another attack, that'd be great. No. Alright, fine. Dover, you did amazing work. You did amazing work there, Dover. I am very proud of the work you did. I forget that James is all set up for... Uh, for catching Mons and not actually set up for this tournament. That's fine, um. Uh, Earth power. That's going to do nice damage. I mean, so only attacking move, move outside of Sludge Bomb, but it'll do nice damage to the um, T-Tar. Where's your final Mon then, Jordy? You had a Shuckle, a T-Tar... And a Colossal. That's actually kind of scary for me. Earth Power do nice damage. Earth Power one shot. Awesome. It's full time super effective. So I'll take that. Nice work, James, going up to level 73, and we beat Ness, we beat Geordie and Brittany. We may fight as one, but uh, it looks like you're still ways off from being a two Mahomoth, a Mahimoth. Time to make sure my uniform and my head are uh, both on straight and do some more training. I wish you luck in the final round. Show them the same skill you showed us. And here are the results of the Semi-finals, Joe and Marnie beat Jordy and B, and uh, Peony and Kafu lost to Pierce and Rehim, so it's going to be Joe and Marnie versus Pierce and Rehim. So here we are, the final battle. Took long enough, but we made it, huh? My bro and Rehim aren't going to just hand us the win, though, that's for sure. But listen, I've got your, uh, your back no matter what, as you believe in me too, right? Yes, I do. Let's do this, Marnie. This is it, folks, the final battle. Who will see his glory? Will it be Joe and Marnie to take it to the top? Or will it be Pierce and Raheem to be the ones who triumph? Joe and Marnie, huh? You've got uh, to be one plain... Uh, one pain of a pay of a pair to battle I've been waiting for this one to show you how a strong spike Marf's new gym leader is bro finally I get to show you firsthand oh I'm well aware how strong you've got but I'm still your big brother you get how that is Now bring it, sis. Get ready to get crushed into the dust. I was really hoping for a chance to beat Leon.
well, Leon didn't actually qualify for this tournament or didn't actually compete. But I don't mind messing uh, and that chance if it means I get to beat these two guys. No holding back, Joe. You uh, uh, better. You and me are going to come out on top. Damn right we are, Marnie. This is it. The last big match. Hey, you need to cheer me on f uh, in a bit. You need to cheer me on a bit. I mean, I'm going. I'm cheering you on all the time, Marnie. We're a team. We're going to kick ass, okay? Stunt tank and Flygon. Dover and more Pico. If anything, I want to take out that stunt tank. Because if I can... It, if I can get Pierce to be the one who D-maxes, then I don't have to deal with G-max... Uh, uh, then I don't have to deal with G-max, uh, you know, the Darudagon. And I don't really like... I really don't want to deal with G-max Darudagon. I hate that thing. It is so hard to deal with. I don't like it. I really don't like G-Max Darudagon. So, I'm going to Earthquake. Okay, Raheem's using Sandstorm, which is kind of annoying, but I'm okay with that. Aurora Reel from the Evermore Pico, which does nice damage to the Stunt Tank. I'm going to EQ. Flygon levitates, so Flygon won't get hit with that. That's fine. I really want to hit the um, the stunt tank. That's what I want to do. Sorry, Marnie. I know that... I know you have an electric type out with more Pico, but I really want to get rid of the stunt tank. Oh, wait. Pierce doesn't... Pierce doesn't D-Max, does he? Uh, he doesn't G-Max. So no matter what I do, I'm going to have to face G-Max to Gerudagon. I don't want to face G-Max to Gerudagon. I hate that thing. It's so hard to deal with. I don't like it one bit, but I'm going to have to deal with it. I don't have Heihachi on this team either, so that makes it really hard to deal with. Uh, I guess we'll I guess we'll just ice punch the flag on this turn because I don't really know what else I can do here. Okay, I can handle that. Crunch does nothing. Drain Punch means he's going to get hit by Batet. So the obstacle doesn't get to get hit this turn. That's fine. Ice Punch the Flygon. Flygon goes down. A Gudra coming in from Rehim. That's fine. I can D-Max this turn, but I don't really need to. But... Um, D-Maxing now would actually be not a bad idea, because it would do... I'd be able to get the advantage on... No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to G-Max this turn. 
Because I'm here to get the advantage on uh, G Max Garudagon if I'm going to have to deal. If I have to deal with G Max Garudagon, I might as well try and set up now. Throat Chop, that does nice damage, but it's not really that great. And Life Do from the uh, from the Gudra. Guess that gives uh, Obstagoon back some HP, that's fine. Drain Punch from the Scrafty, that does nice damage to the, uh, to the um, Obstagoon. And I'm doing using Max Hail Storm to do some nice damage to the Gudra. That's going to kill the Gudra. All right, cool. And it's going to put Hail in place. Obscure is buffeted by the Hail. Everyone's buffeted by the hail. That's fine. Here's the Dragoodicon. Uh, Max Quake. On to the Dragoodicon. Because I know the Dragoodicon's gonna... is gonna G-Max. Because... Pierce doesn't G-Max. I hate this thing. I really do, but there's not very much I can do about it. Max Knuckle. Onto the Scrafty, but... Oh, that is... That is bad. That kills the Scrafty. And raises his attack. Throat Chop does nice damage. I'm fine. It's moments inside Max Quake. Oh, that nearly one shot the Darudagon. And that raises my special defense. Nice. Buffeted by the hail. And same with the Obstagoon. Obstagoon almost dead from the hail. And here comes the Grim Snarl. I'm going to Max Quake again. You take down the Obstagoon. Alright, fine. Don't take down the Obstagoon, because Obstagoon decides to use Obstruct. Max Steel Spike onto the Grimmsnarl, and that is Grimmsnarl down. Damn. Alright, it's, it's a handicap match uh, until... I can take down uh, the... The G Max Derudagon with Earth Power this turn. Uh, with uh, Max Quake this turn. Max Quake Earthquake. There we go! Rehim down! Actually, it wasn't that bad facing them. And Dover got some levels. I'm okay with that. And D Obstagoon goes down to Hail this turn. Robin and Yorkshire got levels up. I got one last number for you. Get ready to hear it in your heart, ears and hearts. It's Troxicity. Uh, of course, I undemax this turn. EQ. 
Is that going to do nice damage? I'm going to get sludge bombed, but I should be able to take that for nicely. Here comes the EQ. And that one shot. It's beautiful. Good work, Dover. My foot is raged from shouting. But that's because it was just that exciting of a battle. I fought uh, to the end and still lost. Well, that's fine. As long as I fight on next time. Woohoo, that was a good battle. Guess I have to concede that your team was stronger for now. There you have it, ladies and gents, the results of the final round. You were amazing. Thank you both for you. Our new champion and our old uh, one. All matches were brilliant. You hear that? The voices of Gala, the excitement uh, we brought at all these people. They can't help but uh, be moved by fantastic performance you two just put on. Their hearts are crying out for more. And this glorious torment brought so much fire to the people of Gala. Well, that's it. Uh, it's time is up. We have our winners. Though, it's an awful shame to have it end. Uh, after all, it's been fun. This, which is why... I'm pleased to announce the Galean Star Tournament will continue from this day on. You mean there are more matches? That's the best news we've had all year. Yes, it is. You can uh, have as many matches in multi-battle format as you can stomach. If you want, you can stick with the same partner or try again with something different. We'll get stronger and stronger in the Gala region in this uh, wild mix. And we'll run wild next time and ne uh, every time after that. As long as trainers and Pokemon keep aiming for the top together. As long as our fans want to watch our battles. Their hands sweaty and nerves of excitement. We'll go on for a thousand years. We'll carry on forever. So everyone, and so we meet again. Now let's have the Maximizers play us off. Woohoo! All right. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is... Pokemon Sword and Shield, The Crown Tundra. If you enjoyed this video, and if you enjoyed this series, then leave a like, comment, and subscribe. That is all the content I have for you guys on Sword and Shield. I feel like it's been a really fun adventure. I hope you guys have enjoyed the entire thing. There is one more video to come out from the Sword and, uh, in Sword and Shield. That is our death montage from the Sword and Shield Nuzlocke 
all the way back in 20 uh, as our first series of Sword and Shield uh, of 2019. So you can see because this was once a Nuzlocke. So you can see what happened to all the dead mons in that series if you want to too. But a complete, a complete playlist is linked in the description below if you want to watch the entire series of Sword and Shield on this channel as well. The entire Let's Play, both for Nuzlocke and the after game let's play as well and all of the dlc if you uh, want to do that it would take you a long time don't get me wrong but you could do it it's i'm not saying it's not possible for you to do it i'm just saying you could do it just would take a while so i wouldn't suggest it but I think Sun Shield is a great game and I think if you have not made the decision on whether you're going to purchase the 8th generation of games uh, by now, you should. It's to have great games, really fun, and the Game of the Year edition is really good. It's like £90, but you get all the DLC and Sword and Shield. It's like two games in one. So it's really good. You, there's a sword one and there's the shield one. It's both. It's the game of the D year edition. They uh, came out about a week ago, and it's really cool. That's the one you probably want to get. Not just don't get regular sword and shield now. Get the game of the year edition. That's the one you want to get because that contains the Isle of Armor, the Crown Tundra, sword, uh, and the uh, original game of sword and shield. Which one? Whichever one you want to buy. But I've really enjoyed these series. And I hope you have too. Our next series is going to be our Pokemon Moon Randomizer Nuzlocke. And that is starting December 8th. Join us for it then. But until next time, I am Lancer and Joe. If you've enjoyed this series, leave a like, comment and subscribe for more. But until next time, me the little Pokemon get Plaza. Everybody get Pokemon. Awooga! Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.